All right, this is a video for geometry on spheres, and we're gonna be looking at both surface area and volume of spheres, okay? Um, a sphere being the set of all points in three dimensions that are equidistant from a center, center point. So to find the surface area of a sphere, we're gonna use this formula, four pi r squared, and then to find the volume of a sphere, we're going to use this formula, four thirds pi r cubed. There are a lot of great um, ways of understanding where these formulas come from, and we're not going to go into those formulas right now. Although one thing that I do, found I do find interesting for the surface area, if you could imagine the surface area of just this center circle, of just that circle, that's pi r squared, right? And then if we find the surface area of the entire sphere, that's four times as large. So that's just interesting to think about. If you take a sphere and slice it midway through, that open circular face has a, an area that's one quarter the area of the entire sphere as a whole. So just a curiosity there. Okay, so those are the two formulas, you just gotta memorize them. Four pi r squared and four thirds pi r cubed. By the way, um, if you ever see a formula that just has a squared in it, you're probably finding some sort of area. And if it has a cubed in it, you're probably finding some sort of a volume. So there's another way to help you remember. So let's find the surface area of a sphere. Radius is 10 meters. And so we're going to um, find the surface area is four pi times 10 squared, okay? And I'm gonna keep this one exact in terms of pi. Later on in this video, I'll show you some exact approx some approximations, some decimal approximations using 3.14 approximately for pi. But let's keep this one exact. So four pi times 10 squared. Let's try to use um, some mental math here. 10 squared is 100 times four is 400. So this is exactly 400 pi meters square. So the, um, a sphere with a radius of 10 meters has a surface area of 400 pi square meters. A Little bit of a real world problem, okay? Um, the Earth's equator is roughly 24,902 miles. In, so that's the circumference of the Earth at the equator. Let's see if we can figure out the surface area of the Earth. And we're gonna use decimal approximations along the way. I'll try to keep things exact in terms of pi um, until the very end, and then, we, then we'll use decimal approximations at the very end, okay? So we don't know the radius of the Earth yet, so we need to figure that out. And so let's, let's, apply, let's apply this this circumference to the radius of the earth. So the circumference is two pi r. Okay, that's just the formula for circumference. And so we can say that 24,902 equals two pi times r. And we can divide both sides here by two pi, and we can actually solve, we can solve for the radius of the earth. So we have the radius of the Earth is 24,902 divided by two pi, and I'm gonna cancel out that two. So I get 12,451 over pi. So that's the radius of the Earth. I might have said circumference, sorry, but that's the radius of the Earth is 12,451 divided by pi. So let's put this into the, um, equation for surface area. So surface area, remember, is four pi r squared. Okay, and so let's plug some things in. So we have four times pi times 12, four, five, one over pi squared. I'm going to um, apply that squared to each of the pieces in the parentheses, four times pi 12451 squared is 15502741 over pi squared. We can do a little bit of simplifying. This pi cancels with one of the pi's down below, and then I'll uh, um, multiply that numerator by the four as well. So I get this number What number is that? That's roughly 620 million divided by pi would be the exact answer, okay, for the surface area of the Earth in terms of square miles. But let's divide it by pi, get a decimal approximation. 
I get this number here. Let me check that, 197387017. So that's about 197 million square miles would be the surface area of the Earth. So I encourage you to go, go Google that, see how, see how close we got, okay? The tricky piece here though was converting the, the circumference of the Earth first off in using the circumference formula into the radius of the Earth, okay? And figuring that out and then we could apply the radius um, into our surface area formula. Let's practice finding volume a little bit. We have the vol volume of a sphere with a radius of six meters. Okay, so remember our volume formula is four thirds pi times six cubed. Okay, don't forget to cube the six, six times itself three times. And um, again, what I always like to do is um, do everything except the pi and save the pi for the very end, okay? And so this is exactly 288 pi cubic meters, which is approximately 904.78 cubic meters. Okay, that would be a solution. Um, quick efficiency tip, some students like to do this and get a 1.333. Um, it's honestly easiest just to take that 216 or ju just do 4 divided by 3, keep it in your calculator, and then times the 216. So you don't need to write down 1.3333. All right. And then our, as our last one today, if we know the volume of a sphere, we're going to try to find the surface area of the sphere. And this is a little bit of a tricky one. This will be the hardest one of this video. So. First, similarly to the one we, where we found the, the surface area of the Earth, we need to find the radius first. So let's plug what we know into a formula. So we know that 4 thirds pi r cubed is equal to 5,000. Okay, and I'm going to, um, let me take you through it step by step. Let's multiply both sides by 3 first. So we get 4 pi r cubed equals 15,000. Okay, you might be thinking right here, well, this is a 4 pi r cubed. It's kind of like 4 pi r squared, right? But it's tricky to go from here to find the surface area because we simply don't know what r is. If we could divide both sides by r, we'd have the surface area, um, but we don't know what r is. So let's, let's um, keep going and let's solve for r. I'm gonna divide both sides by 4 pi. Okay, and I get r cubed is equal to, and, and I'm going to get, um, let's go, des let's get decimal approximations on this one rather than keeping it exact. And so r cubed is 1193. And I'm going to go four decimal places. I just don't like rounding very much in the middle of a problem, so I'll go four decimal places. And then at the very end, I'll round it to um, a couple decimal places. We need to find the cubed root right now, okay, to find r. So a couple ways of doing this. Your calculator may have a cubed root button. Mine does. You could also, um, if your calculator doesn't have a cubed root button, you could raise everything to the one-third power. A little reminder about fractional exponents. Raising something to the one-third power is the same as taking the cubed root. So raising something to the one-half power is the same as taking the square root. Um, so you could do that as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that on my calculator. And I get r is equal to 10, 10 10.6078 meters, okay? This is a hard enough problem that I wanna kinda of check my work. And I'm gonna do, I'm gonna think about just, what if we had a 10 meter radius cube, what would be the volume of that cube? So as a little bit of an aside, I'm gonna do 4 thirds times pi times 10 cubed and see if I get somewhere in the range of 5,000. And I get 4,188. And so that, that tells me, that gives me a little bit of confirmation that I'm on the right track here. So um, we shouldn't get exactly 5,000 because 
10 is definitely different from 10.6, but just a way of kind of checking to see if we're in the ballpark, okay? So we have our radius. Now let's find our surface area. So the surface area is four times pi times r squared. Okay, so we're gonna take that 10.6078, we're going to square it and multiply by four and multiply by pi. And we get our final approximate answer is 1414.04, and that's going to be in square meters because we're finding surface area. Okay, so the volume was 5,000 cubic meters. The surface area is just over 1,400 square meters. It was a tough one, but we did it, and that's a good place to stop.